Greetings, greetings. What's good, YouTube? American Arawak Sunday again. What's good, people? Give thanks and praises to the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Um, this presentation will be just uh, uh, sharing <coughs> uh, Revelations 18, uh, verse 4. chapter 18 verse 4 okay and it reads then i heard another voice from heaven say come out of her my people so that you will not share in her sins so that you will not receive any of her plagues okay so pretty much a lot of things has been happening lately um even in the, in the last seven years, you know what I'm saying? A lot of things have transpired, a lot of things has, have um, changed, you know what I'm saying? And people are just um, realizing some people, you know, the ones who are able to process the frequency you know what I'm saying, are on the frequency of the most high. Um, they are now just started to see a lot of things re reveal, revealing, okay? Uh, a lot of this, 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 this circus, with this, with this uh, election stuff, that's a circus, you know what I'm saying? And you're gonna see how it's, it's gonna play out as like a big circus. It is a circus, it always, it, it always was a circus. It is a circus, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's nothing, there's no real, there have never been real money in the society, you know what I'm saying? Of intrinsic value. You you, are, you know, we all been played, you know what I'm saying? And we all exert our resources, which is our energy. So every time you go to a job, or anywhere you work, it always have what's called a human resource department, right? Why is that? Why is it? Why does it? Why every where people work in general have an HR department, right? I'm gonna build on what human resource is, but again, I'm gonna read again from the. Uh, I'm gonna read that again. So I'm gonna repeat that again, okay? Because it's all mental, okay? Everything start mental. Your mental health is number one, okay? Get your mind right first, right? So, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, heaven is your, your heavens, right? Your source, the source of your being, your, the essence of who you are, right? So the inner you, the soul, the real higher you, the best of you, right? You will hear that voice, you will hear that calling, right? And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. Come out of her meaning, come out of that mindset that you're in. You know what I'm saying? Of being human capital, human resource, slaves. Okay, it's time to elevate, it's time to transcend, okay? Um. Human resources is used to describe both the people who work for a company. So, company or an or, or organization. So, the company you're working for, was it built by you? Was it built by your family? Was it built by your bloodline? You know, it's, you that S is a, is a company. So, it's a, it's a holding company. It's a corporation, right? Um, these political constructs all over the, the world, all of them are, are, are government service, government service organizations that serves man, okay? First and foremost, their allegiance is to serve man. But of course, a lot of them are corrupt. A lot of them take payoffs from the back door, right? And they're in the guise of serving the public when they're 
they, they have no interest in serving the public, right? The people, right? See, they're taxing the people when the people are the ones who are supposed to be collecting the tax, okay? All these companies that are for profit must pay tax to the people. If you are for profit, you owe us taxes because you're using the resources, our resource, which is our energy that we exert along with the resources of the earth. So why it's very important to know who you are and connect back to the, the earth. You know what I'm saying? Because everything comes from earth. Okay, you cannot get you cannot get around that. Okay. And the department responsible for managing resources related to employees. Uh, employee is just another word for a slave. Okay. The term human resources was first coined in the 1960s when the value, right, the value of labor relations began to garner attention. And when notions such as motivations, organizational, motivation, organizational behavior, and selection assessment began to take shape, all right? Human resource management is contemporary umbrella term used. So it's a, it's, it's a contemporary meaning. It's, it's a modern term, right? Umbrella term used to describe the management and development of employees, employees in an organization also called personal or talent management and you, you know that talent means money right although these terms are a bit antiqu antiquated human resource management management involves overseeing all things related to managing our organization uh, managing an organization's human capital okay pay attention to the term human capital all right I'm gonna slide over here. What is human capital? Human capital is a stock of habits, knowledge, social and personality attributes, including creativity embodied in the ability to perform labor so as to produce economic value. So my people, the only thing that keeps this machine, this matrix, running is you you are the battery you are powering it you are the capital you are the capital right yes i say capital because capital means you are the source of where every value comes from so to, when you say capital right i mean you have capital um punishment Right, that's when they all capitalize your uh the name, the so-called name that you are you use to do commerce. Because it's just a commercial entity that um you must learn how to manage on your own. Okay. So yes, you are the capital because you're the source, right? Human capital is unique and differs from any other capital. It is needed for companies, right? It is needed. So your energy is needed, right? Not the other way around. You don't need the companies or the, the corporations. They need you. They need your energy. They need your attention. Where energy, where attention goes, energy flows. You have a you, you have a big circus called the election the other day, right? Everybody attention was over there. You gave you gave that thing life, right? You're the only reason why this exists, why, why this paradigm exists, or that paradigm exists, okay? Right? So, you always been human capital, man. Anywhere you go, uh, you work, it has a human resources department, okay? Just to let you know. Now, furthermore, I'm gonna slide over to sleeves, right? Human sleeves. So. They are no mass producing clones, right? Because you see, they need <laughs> you, or they need your energy or your memory, your data, what right, that's stored in your in your mental, right? Or they, 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 that's why they try to computerize everything. Because they try to create a timeline so they could re they could um reloop this not this this illusion. So what they do, whatever they're doing now, they're creating sleeves, right? They're cloning people. See that? Okay. 
and it's harvesting season so if you're not in the right mindset right you could be next as far as harvest right that's why they study our, anat our anatomy so much right to do this stuff right here see that a cloning people man you know what i'm saying human resource human capital right and what's going to happen is that they're trying to sterilize maybe the whole population the whole world so they could control how human reproduction you know what i'm saying this is what it's going to get to right and we are in these days if you don't wake up right this is going to be your world you know reality right you're going to be in a sleeve they're going to store your mindset in a quantum computer and just just re, just reproduce a body and use that information to have to to, to to operate these drones okay to just do to be what human capital okay so remember i showed you this movie that the the females they they was attacking just the females right because they want to control human reproduction right because it's a it's it's a it's a commodity to them right but i don't see it's going to happen if everybody just wake the fuck up you know what i'm saying if you if you go along with this nonsense to circus well this is going to be a reality in the near future okay you could forget about everything else and just know that this is where it's heading this whole vaccination stuff this is where it's heading okay right what, what's up here bodies kept alive in plastic bags and lifeless blank humans ready for a new consciousness to be uploaded <laughs> i want you guys to check out the movie transcendence okay controversial booth at, at C, ces claims to offer immorality immortality but it's all as it seems right so this is the age of cloning people okay so for you people who don't want to get out of your paradigm right of this 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 mindset of thinking that this stuff this thing is, is is actually this that this world this social constructed world is what life is really about <laughs> you gotta you got something coming right and it's not far far from now okay at one of my at, at one mysterious booth in the las vegas convention center this week the reaction of passers-by has been unlike anywhere else murmurs of i don't like this i know this too much for me could be heard from ces attendees crowded around the psy psychosec setup okay so in people they've been cloning people man um it's time for you to wake up and read revelations uh chapter 18 verse 4 and you see it says then i heard another voice from heaven say come out of her my people so that you will not share in her sins right so that you will not receive any of her plagues all right so this is a time where you have this plague, so-called plague, right? What is this plague? What is this? What is this pandemic or pandemic? You know what I'm saying? Either way, it's happening, man. It's going down. So it's time to wake up, people. You know what I'm saying? I've been to, I've been saying this for the past year. All right. Just wake up, man. It's it's clear as day, man. This it's the time time is time is up on us, man. You know. Get your life to get your house together, get your tribe together, get your plan together, get your affairs in order. And I'm saying it's time to govern yourself, you know, autonomous, be autonomous, autonomous. And I'm saying think for yourself. Don't have no one but the Lord over you. Or, or, or you, you don't uh, kneel to no one um, if you have a mind of your own. You know what I'm saying? You lead. You lead. Don't follow. All right? 